During talks at the UN General Assembly last month, President Mnangagwa informed various regional leaders on Zimbabwe's most recent elections and talked about energy cooperation with Mozambique. The president met with colleagues from Angola, Mozambique, Namibia, and South Africa on the fringes of the UNGA from September 18 to 22, according to Information Minister Jefan Muswer. He characterized the elections in Zimbabwe on August 23 as calm, free, and fair. Moreover, President Mnangagwa met with the UK's Minister for International Development, the head of the African Development Bank, and representatives from other world organizations. His appearances were intended to highlight Zimbabwe's achievements, such as the record wheat and tobacco output that has improved food security. After the president returned home and presided over his first meeting since the elections, the cabinet was briefed on these meetings. Minister Muswer pointed out that despite Western sanctions, Zimbabwe's land reform initiative has had a positive economic impact. President Umingagwa attended summits at the UNGA on tuberculosis control, pandemic preparation, financing for development, and sustainable development. He demanded that the world financial system be changed and that health investments be increased. Mnangagwa and his allies pushed for the easing of Zimbabwe's unilateral sanctions, arguing that they are harming the country's people. Similar appeals were made by regional allies from Angola, Cuba, Lesotho, Namibia, and South Africa during the president's meetings at the UN General Assembly. He pushed for the lifting of sanctions and improved international cooperation while also presenting encouraging developments in Zimbabwe.